Hey, how you doing? So uh, in my last video, I showed you how to ensure that your cameras were in sync and that was when you pulled them back into Lightroom and that they were indeed in the order you shot them in. One problem that occurs though is quite a lot of the time when you go out and you're busy shooting, you can't really shoot everything in quite the order you'd like to display it to the client. Uh, case in point here, I have a wedding in front of me and uh, if you go through the wedding, this is as they were shot. I've got pictures of the dress, then perfume, shoes, and then I cut to a shot of uh, bridesmaids getting ready and just basically hanging around and then back to uh, the rings uh, and then back to bridesmaids and then back to some dresses hanging in a cupboard. Now I do not like the way that that bounces around but because of the way the day unfolded I really didn't have a lot of choices to shoot it that way and also as you go along you might see something you haven't seen before. So now what I want to do is I want to actually reorder them into an order that, that I feel will create more of a flow for the bride and for the viewer which is, you know, obvious kind of thing. Okay, so the main thing that I'm going to need to do is to be able to reorder the images, obviously. So one would think that it would be as easy as basically selecting, I'm going to hit my shift key, then I'm going to select an end range, and keeping the shift down, that selects all the way across, and moving them. But the problem is, is that when you do that, you end up with this, cannot reorder photos. The currently selected source does not support custom order. What is the currently selected source? easy. It's the catalog area over here in the left hand panel. Where you really need to be is you need to be in the folders section. When you click down to the folders section as follows, basically you click and you open and you open and you go down to the root folder. In other words, the very lowest level folder that the images are stored in. Now, those images will all be displayed accordingly. What it will, however, do is it will unselect any filters that you've got. So once you're in this mode, just be sure to re-enable the filters. Now what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to look at these images. Here I've got uh, three items. I'm going to pull these right down to maybe just after this bottle of champagne over here. There we go. So now you see they're starting to reorder. I've got these two images right down at the bottom. I'm going to drag these up to the top and there we go. Now something that I quite like is that this image over here is a picture that they've got uh, to champagne and they've had it specially labeled. I'd quite like to open with that. So I'm going to double click. Now I get to the library view with all the thumbnails showing and I'm just going to drag it right to the beginning. Something that I would actually like to point out is that if you have a stacked image and you by mistake drop any selection like this onto a stacked image, it will then add to the stack. So be very careful of that. Remember that. Make sure that once you've dropped the images, they are visible. Otherwise, you can end up hiding them. And if you don't notice it at the time, it can be a bit of a nightmare to get back to where they were. You'll find them because the stack will show you. In fact, let me actually show you. Let me see if I can get two images to stack up here. What I'm going to do just for argument's sake is I'm going to create a virtual copy. You do this by, I think, hitting control and apostrophe. There we go. Um, so now what is happening is I've got a virtual copy of the two images. Very handy because if I want to edit one image and uh, crop another and supply it as a variation, also works very nicely. So if you have a look over here, you can see I've got two stacked images. But if you look up in the top left-hand corner, you see I've got one of two, and you see I've got two of two in the top left-hand corner of the other. If I click one of two, it basically puts them underneath each other. Now, if I were to start reordering images and I had images stacked, so for example, if you use stacking, I use it in uh, when I open images to Photoshop all the time. So I've got a lot of stacked images. Watch what happens. So if I try and move these three, and instead of dropping them where you see that little black line just in between, if that black line doesn't appear or that one doesn't appear, and I just drop it directly on the stack, they all disappear. And now the stack says it's got six items. So be very, very careful of that. But once they reordered, remember to rename your files. Because right now the file names are not changed. It's just the order. And the only program that knows about that is Lightroom. When you export them, you're going to send them in random numbers or whatever numbers they've been ordered to. And they're going to immediately, by default, usually order by name. So remember to rename those images. Now, if you want to learn how to rename those images, Lightroom has very powerful renaming features. And I'll cover that in my next video. So thanks for watching. Please share this if you like it and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.